Hey there. Uh, sorry I didn't get around to these yesterday. You know, just got caught up with, with other things. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of spreading out the... Spreading things out a little bit. Uh, there's there is a lot of content to cover this week actually, and so um, you know I'm just gonna sort of take it a bit slow. I'm not I'm not in a rush to get all this stuff done, um, but I am gonna do the two silver crown battles that we have this week. So this one, uh, Rise of the Tyrant, is for uh, Emperor's silver crowns, and then we have another silver crown battle for Ricard and Wyvern's. Um, they have a, a crown battle as well. Uh, they're both restricted to wind or Final Fantasy II units only. Um, I like that they added the wind category because for global that means we can bring uh, Chizuru and Chizuru makes this very very easy. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to take the exact same team. I'm not going to change anything. And I'm going to take the same team into both battles and clear both of them all missions clear thanks to, uh, to Jizuru. Um, you can also bring a friend to this one, which makes it even easier. Um, so here it, it's the typical missions, you know, no continues. Um, and then clear within five turns. Uh, and then if you want the STMR removal, you clear it with only wind category units uh, in, in the party, um, which is honestly is, is easier than trying to do it with like just Final Fantasy II units. So, um, you know, wind category, perfect. We, we will uh, knock that one out of the park. Um, and so we are gonna take a friend unit. So we're gonna take uh, a friend Chizuru and just real quick, um, before I, I tell you about the team, I'm just going to show you some wind units. Uh, so I think I already have the filter on, don't I? Yep, so I've got the filter on for wind units. So uh, here's your list of, of wind units you can choose from. Obviously, you got like Zidane. Uh, you can bring, um, I mean, not that you would bring uh, Wolf Adele. Uh, but Bart's, you know, he's a good wind unit. Apparently, they decided to make the old Livid Toto a wind unit. Um, Aaron. Uh, you know, you got Bulwark, you've got Bartz, although Bartz didn't get his upgrades. Sorry, Sinzar. <laughs> um, but, you know, if he'd gotten his upgrades, he would have been great for this. Um, Barbaricia. And uh, really, the, the only solid magic tank that I have that's uh, wind-related is um, Silent Night Charlotte. I don't know if there's another magic tank that's really suitable for this one, but um, you do have, if you picked up Crocodilian, uh, you could use him as a physical tank. He does have one one turn of Omni cover as well, so you can potentially use that. But he's a limited unit, so you might not have him. Uh, Mermaid Freezy is kind of a good dedicated wind support unit if you have her, but, it, um, but also if you have Chizuru or if you have Bulwark, they work just as well. So, the team I'm working with here, um, we are taking um, we are taking Scythe because she is a, a wind unit. Um, she gets the wind category. I'm pretty sure actually. Let's double check on that. Um, yep, yeah, she gets wind category. That's why she's here, obviously. Um, uh, so Scythe is in here. She's going to be dealing some damage. She's going to be our breaker. Uh, we've got Silent Night Charlotte. She'll be our tank. Chizuru, obviously, for damage. Um, Cater, for, uh, he'll also be bringing damage. Um, and then Sky, who's really just here as a, to help chain with Chizuru a, bit, a little bit. Also do some support. She'll do a Spear in Peril for Scythe. Um, and I also have her equipped with Bushido Freedom for this fight specifically. All right, um, so we'll cover the gear real quick on, and I'm only going to do this once because I'm taking the exact same team, not changing anything between fights. So we've got um, Sice has her STMR, Magister's Ring for chain cap boost, um, just some gear, high attack gear to get her uh, LB damage uh, as high as possible. Um, you see I've got Maneater on there because Emperor is a human, so we've got Maneater up there. Uh, and then what card did I give her? I gave her this card just to make sure her LB damage is capped. You see it's overcapped, so this is a bit overkill here on Sice, really, if, if I'm being honest. Uh, just whatever gear you have on her. She's not going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Cater is probably going to do uh, the... Cater and, and Chizuru obviously are doing the most, the majority of the damage here. But, you know, you can gear Sice however you want if you wanted to deal a little extra damage. Uh, Silent Night Charlotte is just built for bulk uh, and some elemental resists, um, mainly ice and lightning, uh, and yeah, but you know, a good spread of elemental resists there. Um, so here's what she's wearing. Mine's only EX1. You can get away with an EX0. That's fine. She's only wearing her TMR. I don't even have her SDMR. I didn't bother to Moogle it. Um, and yeah, just a good spread of elemental resists. She's got Sylvie's card, and that's really all she's all she needs. That's all she's doing here.
Uh, Chizuru obviously built for damage, so high attack gear. I'm not going to use Tyvus' spirit, so you don't need it. You can ignore that. Um, I do have a cool smile card that, of course, makes her deal a tremendous amount more damage. But if you don't have it, don't sweat it. Uh, just bring a friend, Chizuru, and you should be good to go. In her Brave Shift form, where she's going to do the majority of her damage. Mine is EX3, so I don't have to worry about Chain Cat boost. So I went a little bit more budget on the gear. Um, just make sure she's got 300% uh, Human Killer, and she's good to go on that one. All right, and should be good and covered there. Uh, is there LB damage? Yeah, so good. She's got full LB damage as well. Perfect. All right, um, Cater is uh, wielding a... Uh, he's wielding his STMR and uh, Shinra shotgun in the offhand because he, he always imperils both katanas and guns with his LB. And then just some high attack gear there. You want to make sure he's filled up. Oh my gosh, I didn't even bother to gear him for killers. As you're going to see, it's not going to matter. Um, I did give him this card just as a strong attack card, but as you can see, I forgot to build him for any killers of any kind. He does have some human killer in there, but yeah, as you can see, it's not really going to matter. You can gear him better than mine, and you'll do fine. Um, Sky, uh, I'm only using her normal form. I'm not going to go into her brace shift form at all, um, and so I, I, I only bother gearing her her normal form. Uh, just high attack. Bushido Freedom is there to dispel the boss's buffs on turn two. High attack vision card. Um, you can give her some LB damage, but really she's just a chain slave. I didn't even bother really gearing her for killers or anything like that. All right. Um, my friend Chizuru is, uh, again, you know, Built a little bit better better than mine because I went a bit more budget on mine. Um, doesn't have cool smile vision card though, but that's okay. We're still going to get through it. Only 100% human killer. We're still going to get uh, through with this just fine. All right. So let's get in here and see how we clear this one out. And then we'll go straight to the other silver crown fight and clear that one out. Mm -hmm. All right, so he's going to summon all of, all of these minions. That's fine. We're going to kill all of them next turn, and then we will promptly kill Emperor on turn three. All right, so uh, my Chizuru is just going to do strong Samurai Spirit for the buffs, Oroshi Blade to imbue everybody with wind, and then focus strength for the Mirage, because the boss is going to do some AoE physicals, um, and so we want to make sure we're miraging all of that. Uh, my friend will do... Uh, plant pulverizer. We're going to target the, the golem. Not that we're really going to deal a whole lot of damage to golem, but um, you see he does have one turn of cover up, and you know, that it, it only lasts for one turn, but they, they re-up it on odd turns. So like on turn three, he'll re-up it. So you, we're, we're, we're going to kill him uh, next turn when his cover is gone, because he will have cover mitigation. So uh, Kator will do uh, charging Magitek Cannon, that unlocks his uh, his finisher. And then uh, men prepare to fire for the human killer. And then uh, we'll just do Magitek Rockets to uh, do the Wind and Peril for, the, for everybody. Um, and what, what uh, let's see, what is this chick gonna do? Um, Sice is just gonna do Triple Moxie Def to chain with Chizuru. And then we'll do Black Hole uh, to do the full break on everybody. Sky on this turn will just do triple bolting strike. Um, and then Charlotte is going to do cover, attract wall, and bar erosia because we want the physical mitigate. Well, we don't really need the physical mitigation. What am I talking about? Doesn't really matter because we're yeah we're gonna uh, we're gonna mirage all that. So let's do cover, attract wall, and Shelga. All right, that way she gets the seventy five percent magic mitigation. All right, um, so I'm going to go ahead and send uh, Kator. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. That's just how I say it. So hopefully I'm not I'm not totally mauling his name or anything like that. Um, so I'll start with Sice, Sice Chizuru Sky. So this will do a little bit of damage. Um, it's just a little bit of chip damage to make sure that you kill him next turn, which we should easily. So there's the Mirage um, taking care of all of that. Uh, the boss just buffed 
everyone's elemental resistance by 75%. So that's what Sky is going to do. She's going to do Bushido Freedom to get rid of all that, dispelling all that. All right, now Sice is going to do Reaping Grudge for the Breaks and Imperils, Reaping Wind. Um, and then uh, we'll do another Black Hole to re-break everybody. Um, actually, no, Reaping Grudge takes care of that. What am I doing? So honestly, all she really needs to do is Reaping Grudge. Let me just make sure this is all enemies. Yep, okay, just had to double check. Reaping Grudge, Reaping Wind, and you're dead. Um, so that she's ready to do her SLB next turn for the kill turn. All right, Kator is going to do uh, double Magitek Cannon Wind and then White Thunder to prepare for his SLB next turn. The Chizurus are going to shift and do their LBs. All right, now they don't have any kind of like LB buff, um, so it's not going to kill Emperor. Um, but that's fine. It's going to kill the golem, and that's that's all you really need here. Okay, uh, we're going to come back with. Uh, we'll just go ahead and honestly, she can just. Um, we will do bar erosion. Why not? Just to make sure we're, we're covered there. All right. So Chizuru's will go, and uh, Kator will finish with his one hit finisher. Boom. All right. So yeah, Emperor's still got, yeah, 50% um, left. That's fine. Cater and Sice and Chizuru will, will all just help finish it off. So devastating uh, to refill her LB, just in case you need to go to turn four. If you needed to go to turn four, um, you know, that'll refill her LB plus give her an LB buff. So she'll deal, deal even more damage on turn four. Just, uh, just know that Sky will have to um, dispel Emperor because he'll put up another um, another resistance buff. So she'll have to dispel him, and then you'll have to redo all your breaks and, and, and perils and everything before Chizuru does the finishing LB next turn. We're not going to need it, because we're going to go ahead and kill on this turn. Oh, almost forgot. I'm going to do Sharp Spear Focus to do the Spear in Peril for Sice. Double Battering Winds to Chain with Kator. Um, and then Silent Knight, she'll do her LB. This is, you know, that's, that's for the mitigations, just in case you... Um, just in case you need to go one extra turn. Okay, so we should be good to go here, and yeah. And this should definitely finish off the boss without issue. There you go. All missions clear. Okay, damage details. Yep, Chizuru's uh, doing well, but Cater, look at Cater. I mean, he does he does very very well in this fight. Like he is he is very very uh, very very strong in this fight. And I didn't even gear him for killers, so that's pretty impressive right there. Um, yeah, I, I'm very impressed by that. All right, um, and there you go, all missions clear, easy peasy. Um, what's that? Okay. Uh, all right. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get to the other fight. I will. I will record the other fight. Something just came up. I will have to record uh, the other fight later. Um, I was going to try and do both of them, but something just came up and I have to run, but I will go ahead and, um, you know, we, we've got this one in the bag, so I'll make sure I post this one and then I'll just, I'll post the other crown battle later. All right. So thank you guys so much for following me and I will see you on the other side.